Welcome to day three highlights from here in Funchal, the capital of the island of Madeira. It is the 2024 Para Swimming European Open Championships. 21 more European champions were to be crowned on day three. And the first event that we saw was the men's 100 metres backstroke for the S1 classification. The S1 classification is for swimmers with the most severe physical impairments in the Paralympic programme. And it was a star-studded affair with Paralympic champion Iyad Shabadi in lane number three for Israel. Anton Cole, the European silver medalist in lane number four. And they went head to head as they came into the finish. It was a really close contest, but Cole was the one who finished ahead of the Paralympic champion this time. These and two have had some great battles over two. the last couple of when years, but this time it was Cole who came out on top. Iad Shabani had to settle for silver this time, and the reigning European champion, Patella for Italy, Madeira, took the bronze. The women's 100 metres backstroke S2 final was a combined event with S1 swimming up. Here with the S2 classification, only one set of medals were up for grabs. Elif Ildem of Turkey, the only S1 swimmer in this one. But the dominant force of Yip Pinzu swimming in the European Open category for a medal led the way at the turn, 104.06, almost 10 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. There was nowhere else to look who, apart from Yip Pinzu, who's been dominant in this event. First winning medals on the major stage back in Beijing in 2008. She went at a time of 2.17.2 to move the fastest time in the world this year along. Diana Kosova finished in second position and World Championship bronze medalist Angela Procida of Italy took the bronze. The European bronze went to Zanet Adami of Hungary. In the women's 100 metres breaststroke SB7, the Paralympic champion Maria Pavlova went in lane number five. But the sensation from Great Britain, the 13-year-old Iona Winifrith, led down the first 50 with Spain's Nahia Sudari Barretso in close attendance in lane number three. Paralympic champion has had a great record in this event in recent years on the top of those two swimmers but the young Iona Winifrith already a gold medal under her belt at these championships in the 200 meters individual medley came through in the closing stages it was a real tussle between Pavlova and Winifrith and Zunir Barretso was closing up in the closing stages but it was the youngster who stretched away from the more experienced pair in the closing stages and she came under the flags with almost a two meter lead. It was Winifred that stopped the clock under the one minute 30 mark. Another fantastic performance from this young 13 year old from Great Britain. Pavlova had to settle for the silver medal in this time and it was a fantastic time from the Spaniard to take bronze, but it's a second goal of the week for Great Britain's Iona Winifred. In the men's 100 metres breaststroke SB14 final, the only non-European athlete went in lane one for Brazil. That was Artur Xavier Ribeiro. It was a real opportunity for a major championship title here as a fairly Rookie field, other than World Championship bronze medalist, Parmentia. Great Britain's Harry Stewart was second at the turn behind the experienced Vasil Krynich of the Ukraine. It was close, just less than a second, Krynich led by. But on the second 50, Stewart of Great Britain... Swimming in lane five behind pre-race favourite Deaton Registe of Ireland came through in emphatic style to touch the wall first. His time 106.79. Bettered his time from the trials for his country just two weeks ago and the Brit was delighted to take his first victory. Kranich added 
another European medal to his collection, and Artem Pavlenko took the bronze. Madeira, your medalists. Madeira, who's a in the women's SB 14 100 metres breaststroke, the swimmers with an intellectual impairment. The only non European was Ashley Van Ryswick. She went in the centre lane with that green cap of Australia. Alongside her, Janina Falk from Austria in lane five, and the inform, Asia Maureen Ispiel from France, who already had a fantastic swim in the backstroke the day before. And she showed that she was very much in form here in this breaststroke as she came up alongside Ashley Van Ryswick in the closing stages. The French swimmer has been knocking huge chunks of her personal best times at the major championships here in Madeira and she came alongside the Australian Van Ryswick though coming into the closing stages still had the advantage but it was the French woman finishing fast although Van Ryswick seemed to get another spurt at the end Stretch for the wall and just took the touch by a very small margin, 0.6 of a second. Ashley Van Ryswick took the open title, but it was Asai Maureen Espio who was crowned European champion ahead of Janina Falk and Georgia Marchi from Italy. When the women's 150 metres individual medley SM4 final took to the start, fastest qualifier from South Africa, Kachwanapol, was at behind the block, which meant it was an all-European affair. And it gave Germany's Gina Butcher, the World Championship silver medalist, a real opportunity to take the title. She had a great backstroke, but the breaststrokers came back very strongly on her on that second length. But it was Butcher that prevailed down at the freestyle to take gold for Germany with Natalia Butkova getting silver and Marina Vabova the bronze after an exceptional breaststroke play. In the men's 50 metres, Butterfly S5, champion in the 50 freestyle two days ago, Alexander Komarov of Ukraine went in the centre lane. Anthony Pons Bertrand and Kirill Pulver on either side of the Ukrainian. They had a tough program tonight with all the 200 metres individual medley like coming up later in the program. It was Komarov, who was just ahead of Pons Bertrand, one lane down from him, with Lerjos of Greece going well up there in lane number six. And the young 13 year old Ishmael Zulfik from Bosnia and Herzegovina down in lane number two, not too far away from the action. But Komarov it was who clinched the double in the 50 metre event, 50 metres butterfly title to add to the 50 metres freestyle title that he won earlier in the week. Another medal to the Spaniards, Anthony Pons Bertrand, and a first international podium for Lergios of Greece. In the women's 50 metres butterfly, S5, Two swimmers from Turkey were in the centre lanes. Seville, Ozturk and Sumai Boyachi with very similar impairments expected them to lead the field in the early stages. And it was Ozturk who led the field clearly away from her teammate and also Italy's Giulia Garetti who had already taken gold in the 100 breaststroke earlier in the week. Ozturk was a specialist in this event. She was the world championship bronze medalist last year and already taken a silver in backstroke earlier in the week. Garetti with those long arms in lane number five was a European champion back in 2018, but she could not come back to match the power of Sibylle Ozturk. And it was a first gold medal for Turkey at these championships as Ozturk hit the wall ahead of Garetti and it was a second medal to Turkey in this event. Sumai Bayachi taking the bronze medal. The Turks were delighted to be on the medal podium side by side and only split by Garetti of Italy who took the silver. The women's 200 metres individual medley SM6 final promised to be 
an exciting affair. World record holder Maisie Summers Newton of Great Britain went in a lane four, but Nicole Turner, Paralympic medalist for Ireland in the butterfly events, had a great first 50 and kept her company as they went on to the backstroke. Backstroke specialist Verena Schott knew that she would have a good second 50 and it was Schott that turned first at the halfway point. Maisie Summers Newton was over second and then Nicole Turner in bronze but it was Summers Newton's specialist stroke the breaststroke where the difference was really made and Summers Newton hit the front of the pack and then the question was could she beat the clock she was under world record pace at the 150 meter mark so all eyes were on the scoreboard to see where the British swimmer could touch the wall and if the gold medal would be accompanied by a world record. Short had done enough to give herself a solid second position down at the freestyle leg. No pressure from her. Nicole Turner was fighting for a bronze. Summers Newton touched the wall under the three minute mark, but just shy of her world record. Verena Schott came home for silver for Germany and Nicole Turner delighted with her first medal of the championships. Summers Newton confirmed as the champion another medal for Verena Schott to go with the gold that she won in the 100 meters backstroke. Nicole Turner for Ireland on the podium. In the men's 100 metres butterfly S9 final, it was the first time we'd seen the great Italian champion Simone Barlam at these championships. He's the reigning world and European champion and he stretched out to an early lead. There was not much in it between the rest of the field. They were all separated in qualification by only a second and a half and going well right down at the bottom was Ireland's Barry McClements as they came into this second 50. Simone Barlam, well he was stretching away at the front, those long arms just pulling him ahead of the others alongside him. Ayo Schalkano, one lane down, seemed to tie up in the closing stages as Barlam pulled away from the others. And danger all over the pool as the second place went to Malte Braunschweig of Germany and on the outside lane Barry McClements clinching his first international medal with a bronze. Excellent times there from the three medalists but Barlam on top again retaining his European title. The women's S9 100 meters butterfly saw a group of in form swimmers taking it out to, and it was Florian Bulcher of the Netherlands who went well down the first 50 meters. She had a very slender lead ahead of Paralympic champion Sofia Conkley and Spanish Supremo Paralympic bronze medalist Sarai Gascon. It was those three that broke the field in the last 25 meters of the race and Bulger was trying to hold on to that advantage but Conkley was coming back with every stroke. It was to feel Conkley that prevailed not with a perfect finish but she got her hands to the wall first to take the title in a time of 108.22 and be crowned European champion. Bulger with a silver medal and Sarai Gascon with another bronze in this one. That was her seventh straight European medal in this event for Sarai Gascon of Spain. In the men's 100 meters breaststroke SB11 final, Roger Dorsman, the Paralympic champion, was in the fast lane in lane number four. The SB11 event is for those swimmers with no vision they are wearing blacked out goggles they are tapped at the turn and the finish and you saw the tapper there for roger dorsman do a great job as the champion paralympic champion went away stretching ahead of the others dorsman is a european record holder in 110.31 he swam that time to win the world title last year in manchester one lane up from the champion was Danilo Trufarov, 
who hadn't taken part in the 100 butterfly the night before, but he was back in for the breaststroke. And also going well was Edgaris Matakis of Lithuania. But there was no stopping Dorsman. He came home to claim his third gold medal of the championships in a time of 1.10.42, just 0.1 of a second outside his own European record. Chufarov was delighted to get in for the silver medal and Matakis from Lithuania claimed the bronze, but it was Dorsman who was on top of the podium again. The women's 100 metres breaststroke SB11 final saw class in the centre of the pool with Paralympic and world champion Karolina Pelodrutu of Cyprus in lane five and Jana Baritza, the Paralympic Games bronze medalist in six. But the unknown quantity in this one was Daria Likonenko, who's moved recently into the SB11 category from the SB12 category so she now swims in the classification group for those athletes with no vision at all and it was Lukienko that looked strong just with the advantage at the 50 meters but in the final 25 meters her strength started to prevail Pelandritu was in hot pursuit Pelandratu hit the lane rope with about 15 metres to go and so she set herself off course a little bit but no such problems for Lukinenko who came in to stop the clock in an exceptional world record time of 117.65. Pelandratu, the previous world record holder, came home for the silver medal. And the bronze went to Martina Rabolini of Italy. Pelandridu, happy with her performance, will be disappointed not to have taken the gold though, as she's dominated this one for a number of years. And on a relatively quiet night for the Italians with such high standards, Martina Rabolini was delighted to get on the podium. Luki Aninko really set out the stall from the beginning. Carolina Pelagritu, known for her speed, and she used all the power that she had down that first 50 metres. But it wasn't enough, and the new world record holder still led the way. But really, it was the second 50 metres where the damage was properly done. A new star on the block in this SB11 100 meters breaststroke as Luki Yanenko waited. There was a delay while that world record was confirmed and the blacked out goggles were checked. But in the end, all was good and the new world standard is 117.65. So the world record was celebrated in the venue and it sets up an exciting race for the summer. Daria Lukienko there confirmed as the gold medalist. Madeira, your medalists. Madeira is a flatter. In the women's 100 meters freestyle in the S13 visually impaired class. The world record holder Carlotta Gili from Italy is trying to retain her European title. Next to her was Alexandra Ziblatseva in lane number five, but also going well was Spanish swimmer Emma Filu Martin. The Spanish was right alongside the world record holder. She only finished fifth in the world championships last year, Filu Martin, but she really gave a challenge to Carlotta Gili down the final 50 metres. It was only in the final 10 metres or so that Julie began to show her class and stretch away from Filo Martin. Julie, under the one minute mark in 59.95 with Filo Martin very close behind. A lifetime best for the Spanish swimmer in one minute point eight eight to take silver with Ziblet Seva in the bronze medal position in 102.66. Julie celebrated on the blocks and Imu Filo Martin was delighted with her performance to take that silver. In the men's 100 meters butterfly S8 final, there were two non-Europeans, Li Ting of China in five, and Jesse Ongles of Australia in seven. They got off to a good start, and it was Li Ting that led at the turn, but only by four one hundredths from world champion 
Alberto Amadeo. And off the turn, Amadeo settled right into his stroke. And then it was going to be a battle between those two. But the question for everybody in venue was, could Portugal get their first medal of the championships? It wasn't going to be gold. That looked like it was going to Amadeo. But there was a huge battle behind them. The Italians stopped the clock in 102.57. Li Ting was home next in the open category after he'd given himself a great chance down this first 50 meters. But all eyes were on the scoreboard for confirmation of the result to see if Diogo Cancelar finish in, in second place would be confirmed as the European silver medalist. Li Ting challenged Amadeo for 75% of the race, but then the strength of the Italian, who's already won gold in the 400 meters freestyle here in Madeira this week, shone through to get a second gold for him. It was Alberto Amadeo that was confirmed as the winner, but as I said, it was all on the medalist, and Diogo Cancelar did get confirmed in second position. So it was a first medal for the home nation, silver for Cancelar and Inigo Lopez Sand took the European bronze. Day three culminated with a very exciting mix four by 50 meters medley relay 20 points. 20 points means that the classification numbers of all the swimmers in the team have not to add up to more than 20 points. And it was the S7 swimmer, Yaraman from Turkey, who'd led them out in the early stages. Spain were looking to do the double, and they were in second position. Ponce Bertrand handing over to Miguel Luque. They had won the freestyle relay the evening before. And as they came to the halfway point, it was the Ukrainians who led with Semenenkin handing over to Veronica Korsova. On the second leg, on the butterfly leg for Spain was Marta Fernandez Infante. And as the Ukrainians went on to their final leg, Fernandez Infante handed over to Sarai Gascon. The S9 swimmer was against the Ukrainian S5 swimmer Irina Poida. And Gascon made up the ground so quickly on the Ukrainian and went past her. There was a the moment that Gascon went past Irina Poida and Spain, who were behind Ukraine at the World Championships last year, were going ahead of them this time and in for another gold medal in the 20-point relays. Sarai Gascon touching the wall in that time with 240.01, just shy of the time that they swam last year, but Spain crowned the European champions in this 4x50 meters medley relay. Ukraine came in second position and Italy claimed another medal at these championships with the bronze. Spanish team Ponce Bertrand, Luque, Fernandez Infante and Gascon on top of the podium again. It was the same team from last year. And after day three, Italy still lead the medal standings, one ahead of Ukraine. It's a good day for Great Britain with two goals for them to put them into second place, third place in the podium. Austria were on the podium for the first time with a silver and a bronze, as were Poland with a gold and a silver on day three of competition. And on the last page, the all-important silver medal for the host nation, Portugal. They are on the medal table, and that delighted the home crowd today in Madeira. A great way to finish day three of action, the host nation on the medal table.